a couple of quick things that I want to fix, uh, which are just some sort of like grammatical type stuff. Uh, the first is in the resources, JS, pages, admin, admins, show view. I didn't realize before uh, when I was recording that this class up here says lock and I don't want that. I want block. So really quick, I just wanted to put that on camera so that you guys would see exactly what I was doing. Uh, the other thing is, in the re in the routes web.php, okay, we uh, combine these resource these resource routes. So the only thing I want to change is I want to make these into arrays, and it'll it'll still work. And I'm surprised it didn't throw any kind of error, but they are supposed to be in arrays okay great so now what i want to do is start working on these user uh, functions that we need so let's go ahead into our text editor and we'll open up a new terminal and we're going to need some routes we're going to need a controller and we're going to need some pages okay so we'll do php artisan make controller and then the folder i believe is admins Let's see, controllers, yeah, admins. So it's admins, user controller, and we'll make it resourceful, and we'll also attach the model of a user. Okay, so we'll let that create. Let's go ahead into the, well, we're already here. We can create our next route. So it'll be route prefix and then it'll be users the name will be users dot it'll be a group function okay open that up and then the first one in here will be route get slash uh, the controller will be user controller make sure that's imported the function will be index and the name will also be index you put a semicolon uh, we'll make sure that that actually auto imported so user controllers up top, great. Now let's head over into the user controller. Okay, so now we can close this show page because we're not going to need it just yet. In here, we are just going to return inertia, import that, render, and the page we're going to use is in the admin folder, users folder, and then the page itself is just going to be index. Okay, and we're also going to be um, sending in some props. So our props are just going to be users equals user where is admin equals zero. and then get okay so let's go ahead and build out this page so we'll go down to resources JS pages admin and we're gonna create a new folder and file in here so it'll be users slash index dot view now let's make sure we have our other terminals open and then uh, we can use the same index page from here from the admins uh, we'll just copy the whole thing and paste it over because it's all the same so copy paste and then uh, this prop will be users okay and then let's head up top this will be users uh, page prop success that's fine full name so this will be users 
user index. And we'll say user roles, user name, and this will just get rid of this for right now just so we can work around with it or play around with it so hashtag get rid of that and we should be good let's also go ahead and put this link into our admin sidebar okay so we can just copy this one and use it copy paste and so now this is going to be users and this is going to be users and now this will just be users so let's go ahead and refresh the browser and see what we get we'll go back we'll refresh and now if we click admins users we are now in the user page where we have role name created I think I want to put their email as well let's let's go check that out so go back to index we can close our admin sidebar um, let's see okay we can change this to we'll just change it to email and then move it so email put it right there Um, we can get rid of, well, we can keep this and do the same. So user email, and then we'll just move this down. Let's go look at the styling and see how this looks with the padding left. So we'll go back. We'll refresh. Okay. And I want to move these over a little bit. So we'll do padding left three for the name okay we can get rid of this one and we'll do the same for the name down here so padding left three and we'll get rid of it from here okay let's take a look and that should be good once that's done go back refresh okay much better much cleaner so now let's go ahead and make the route for these edit pages so we'll go back to the text editor go to our web.php and then we'll copy and oop, that did not do anything i needed it so copy paste open this back up this will be now we're using root model binding again so we'll say user and the functions that we're going to be using from in here it's show for this one and show for this one okay so now let's head over to the controller and then we'll head down to the show method okay and because we put that user flag when we created the controller it already has the user input Okay, so we're going to return inertia render and the page is going to be admin users show and then we're going to be ooh, we're going to be passing in the user equals user and we're also Again, going to be passing in all roles equals role all. Okay, and let's put a semicolon down here. Let's make sure that inertia and the rule are both imported, and they are. And now we can go ahead and build out this page. So we'll head down to let's see users here well we can copy let's copy this one and put it there so copy 
paste. And now let's open that one up. Now before I get to do it, let's go back to the index page and add that route to that button since we have it now. So colon href equals route admin users show and then we're going to pass in the user ID. Okay, fantastic. So now we can close this index page. And in the show page, we can now say users. This is going to be username. You know what? I should probably bring in the prop before I forget. So this will be user. Okay, this is all the same. Form.email, create. This is all the same. Option in all roles, that's all the same. Update, and this will return back to users. Okay, now we go down. So this form, so these will now be user. Roles will still be the same. So if this user roles, this user roles, okay, and for the method, this route, we didn't make, make these yet, but admin users update this user ID. Let's go ahead and make the route. We'll go back here. We'll just do a copy paste. This will be patch. This will be update. And then if we go into the controller, we can do the same thing. So we can head over to the admin controller and copy from that update and then just change it how we need it. It'll save us a bit of time. So copy. Paste. Okay, so role where name equals request roles name first, that's the same. So now this will be user. So if user is admin does not equal one, and we'll say role name does not equal user. I, I guess it's pretty much the same thing, but it's fine. So we'll say user role sync role, and then we'll say, well, we can actually just take this and bring it up, get rid of this. So user is admin equals one. Because all we're doing here is just changing the user, not to another user. We're just changing it to an admin. Okay, so that's that's all that we need there. So we can now do user, I mean admins is now user. So users index. Um, we can leave username and has been successfully updated. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this all works. So we'll go back, we'll refresh, and we have an error. So let's go see what's going on. Okay, so admin dot users show. I must have let's see. Go back to the text editor. Show. Uh let me check the index page. Yeah, there it is. So users dot show. Okay, so now we can go back, refresh, and hopefully there's no error. Okay. Fantastic. So now we can close this and let's go ahead and try to edit this user. Okay, everything's the same like it was for the admins. So now we're going to change the admin, let's say, to a moderator. So update. Hiram Block has been successfully updated. And as you can see, he's also no longer part of this users list. So if we go to admins now, 
Hiram Block is our new moderator. Fantastic. Now, the last thing I want to do is just do the web route and we'll make it a resource route like these appear. So we can just copy this one. So copy, paste, and now this is going to be users. This is going to be user controller parameters, uh, users equals user. And then the methods are the same. So let's go ahead and well, actually we don't even need parameters for this one. So let's go ahead and get rid of this and make sure we didn't break anything. So we'll go back. We'll refresh. Okay. And we'll try to edit this one. So edit user will now be developer update fantastic okay so professor professor roger Beatty jr has been successfully updated no longer in our user page and is now in our admins page okay fantastic so now we can go back we can get rid of all of this get rid of these extra lines too and we're done Okay, so I'm going to leave it there for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.